difficulty here. Board, and we'll sign, we'll stand for the pledge. Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with the liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, can I have a motion to approve the minutes of, let's see, what we're going to start with, I guess the, the 20th, the 5th of May. I'll make the motion to approve the minutes for the 5th of May, unless someone has some corrections. I'll support that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. We need a motion to approve the minutes for the 27th of May. So moved. I have some corrections on the minutes. Um, I, I just want it stated in the minutes that it wasn't my idea to change the meeting. It was based on public input. And the second thing, um, the amendment to the resolution was voted on by a roll call vote. So I'm, I'm questioning, enough, we never said we need a form of resolution to be offered at the June meeting. I think, how does that work? Well, we made a motion to change one meeting. No, we made a motion to change all meetings. Yeah, but and you that have was to. What's voted on. Are you done? Yeah, that's what I, I'm asking. I have to have, to an, in order to change the rest of the meetings, it has to have an amendment to 2013, number five. It will have to be published because that was a resolution that was made last year. It stands until we change the resolution to go forward. Right, and we did change the resolution per state. Yeah, but we minutes. didn't have. And it, we it had takes, a roll call vote. No, we didn't. Yes, we did, because John Brown voted against it, and everybody else voted for it. But we didn't ask for names. We didn't take a roll call vote. That's yeah. not a roll call vote. It wasn't vote. stated as a resolution, I know that. Well, I, I, it was an amendment to the resolution. It wasn't a resolution. It, yeah, but this is the amendment to the resolution, and it has to be done. Okay, well, that next time, I think it would be helpful for me if you would identify that, because this, we didn't ever talk that. So. The formal resolution offered was never talked, so I just want to take that out of the minutes so we're correct about our but process. But the formal resolution has to be done. I know. I'm no problem with that. I just don't want it in these minutes because we didn't agree to that at the time and we never talked about it. I, my, I was of the understanding that the, the amendment to the resolution, per what I understood when we did that, that that was all we needed to do. So I'm, I'm fine to do this. I just want to make sure that the minutes are correct in, in what they read. Um, I also have another change. It, it's a pickleball court, not a pickleball game. He's going to make a print lines for a pickleball court. And the other thing that he added to do that's not there is contribute two nets to the pickleball court. So I just wanted you to add that in, recognize that contribution. Other than that, I'm okay with the, the minutes. Uh, I've got a question for John. The uh, minutes say that new chain added before the season of 2015. I understood you to say we needed to add new chain yet this year. That's the way I had uh, explained it. If we get a couple rough wins, those chains, those chains are going to break. break yeah. Is the way I was explaining it. Right. Yeah, I thought we I thought we agreed we as soon as the weather got, got warmer we'd have a diver go down there. We got the name of the diver and the chain and we'd go do it, right? What paragraph was it? It's the very last, last page. Very last page. Oh the very last page. <clears throat> right, so I I'm gonna suggest that we simply uh be repaired. The docks will need to be repaired in the fall and new chain added as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, as soon as water. Mm -hmm. Water and temperature. Yeah, water right. temperature, water temperature, temperature permits. permits. Okay. Well, that's as soon as possible. 
Okay. Us old guys don't go and open that cold. It doesn't matter to you anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, with those changes, do we have support for the motion and the second? All those in favor? Support. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, then um, let's deal with this resolution since we've already got it here. Um, we have a resolution in front of us which um, I would like to change already, but um, that has to do with the, I guess, Rachel, you can read it and then we can make any changes we want to it. Whereas the supervisor of Mallet Township wants to change a meeting day from the first Monday of the month to this first Tuesday of the month, and whereas the public needs to have this change in meeting days in order to attend the open meetings of the Mallet Township Board of Trustees and learn of the business of the township, and now therefore be it resolved that the following schedule change be published in the Straits Line Resort and the Sheboygan Daily Tribune with following dates and times for the Mallet Township Board of Trustees meetings at 7 o'clock. June 3rd, East Mullet, July 1, uh, Mullet Township, August 12th, Mullet Township, September 2nd, Mullet Township, October 7th, East Mullet, November 11th, Mullet, and December 2nd. All meetings will start at 7 p.m. in the Mullet Township Hall unless noted in the above schedule. Okay, what I want to change is the Supervisor Mullet Township offered a suggestion to change the meeting date from blah, blah, blah based on public opinion. Where? Where was the public? I had lots of input on this, on, on us changing our dates. That's why I offered that we go back to Tuesday per what you and Ray, you and Kathy wanted in the beginning. So I'm just, I'm, there was a lot of, of public comment to me about how, how confusing it was when our meetings were, and I think this well, I, I didn't get that in the memo, so that I guess that's my fault. <clears throat> I just like that changed. Given that change, is there any support for um, the? Well, I guess we already supported the resolution. I guess we need a roll call vote. Um, Somebody's got to offer a motion. I know. I'll offer that motion. So yes, we have support for the second for the motion. I'll second. Okay, then we need a roll call vote. Kathy? Yes. Marianne? Yes. Dennis? Yes. John? Yes. And I'm a no. Resolution passed. Um, the Treasurer's report. Kathy? Treasurer's report as of May 31st, 2014, in our general accounts checking, 53,273. The savings, 245,335. Fire fund, 372,568. Library fund, 48,253. Light fund, 36,376. Liquor fund, 188 dollars. Uh, donations, 1,508. Tax accounts, the savings is a dollar, the checking is a dollar. Investment accounts, uh, CDs, um, 76,922. The fire CDs are 124,711. Dedicated accounts, the old school health CD, 136,853. The township parking lot savings is 75,998. All renovation savings is $30,950. Okay, great. I'll put those into the notes. Um, we have um, Ken Paquette here tonight, and we're going to um, start with him, and Paul will go after you afterwards since we've already done the bids once. So Thank you. Yeah, Paul, Ken, go first. I'm Ken Paquette. I'm with the uh, Boone County Road Commission, lifetime resident of Ford County. Um, and I'm here tonight to discuss and sh uh, talk about our road millage we're proposing in the August primary. I got a couple handouts here if somebody that's asking about. These are actually the road projects that we're going to identify to put money to. Uh, the millage is actually for four years, one mill. 
So if you have a taxable value of say seventy thousand dollars, which is the average for the county, you would pay seventy dollars a year. It's for four years. It'll generate a million three hundred thousand dollars to be divided up on different projects over four years. The county board has approved it. This is actually the wording of the millage. If you want to have that passed down, please. Have the board seen those? <laughs> I thought they were all for me. Um, so it's, uh, again, the need is great. Uh, we have been, we have not seen an increase in fuel tax or registration, and that's where we get all of our revenue from. We not currently from property tax, unless the township has a township manager. <coughs> Mullet don't, and only five do. Either half a mill or a full mill. I know Mullet puts a lot of money towards roads and have and, and is continuing to do that, and we appreciate that. But uh, we want to get this millage passed so we can do about $5 million worth of work within the county. Um, again, we have ambulance service, school buses. Um, fire trucks, policemen running our roads as well as residents. And as you drive throughout the county, uh, you can see the, the condition of our roads. We have roads that are poor all over. Uh, and our list identifies eight roads. These eight projects, I believe that most residents within the county travel on one of these roads in a given year. Um, so that's that's kind of the legit of the proposal. Um, again, it's uh, it, the need is great. We tried it three years ago. It was turned down. Had it been passed, we would have had approximately 10 miles of road done within the county. This proposal identifies about 15 miles of road. Now, the legislators have been talking about additional funding, additional funding. I just read an article from the Senate, and they're going on recess, and evidently they're not going to vote on it. So here we go again. You know, so who knows when we're going to get additional funding. Um, we hope to. You know, Even if we do get additional funding, we're going to add to these projects um, as we get the money. Right now, we need money for equipment, too. We last time asked for 20% of the money in the proposal to go to equipment. This time, it specifically says it will go to repair and resurfacing only of roads. Yes, sir. I have a question, Maxine. Uh, I'm Buddy Hayden. I just live up the road here. Yes. And this is one of my concerns. Um, I travel quite a bit from Gaylor to Sault Ste. Marie to Newberry. I'm on the road a lot. Yes, sir. And these are the worst roads from Gaylor up. And <clears throat> I don't know why, how, how you guys figure out these roads, but Deborah Lake Road is the worst road <laughs> there is in northern Michigan. And I don't see that on here. It's Let, let me finish. I, I go on that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And somebody's going to cause an accident because it forces you to drive in the other lane. People are driving in the other lane. I, I, even at night, I've got I've had people come on my side of the road because of the bumps. And I've had to get over to the shoulder of the road, and the shoulder of the road throws you. Mm -hmm. I see another thing here. You're going from Onaway Road, which is, I take it, by the Wigwam? Or are you going from, from Marina Park? It says East Mount Lake Road to Onaway Road to Stewart Road. But I, I don't know. That's all in Kohler Township. What's that's, that? That's but it's still, it's still yeah, part of your... From the it's, yeah. it's still part of your proposition or, right. or proposal. So this road is dangerous enough with the curves, and I, I, and I travel it every day. And again, East Mount Lake Road from here, I don't know how they can stop at Stewart Road when it's just as bad all the way up through here. You know, I've lived at well, this residence for 21 years. 
and there's nothing been done except a little bit of coal patch, which is taken out within two days. And we're going to lose another life on here, and I'm telling you, that's what's happening. I see it every day up here on Denver Lake Road, and, and that's not even listed on here. You know, I guess I don't know how you commissioners, or you're a commissioner? Yes, sir how you guys grade these roads uh, and I'm sure that's a maybe that's a grade B or, or, or whatever but I'm telling you that's that, that is going to cause some problems people can't even take their boats on a trailer I, I took my boat Sunday to Jewel Road and could only go about 10 miles an hour I mean down, down these roads so can I explain sure something? Um, we have federal aid money that we we save up and do road projects. We've moved Devil Lake Road project to next year from federal aid money. So this Devil Lake Road will get done at least six hundred and or almost seven hundred thousand dollars of it from thirty three this way. It's not on, on this list. This way the, how the, far this, this way? However however the money will will go. We don't know what a dollar is going to go to how far a road is going to be built. How, how, how is other counties doing it? Well, they, they're doing it the same way, unless they have a road mill. There's 21 counties that have road mills. Petoskey, Charlevoix, Grand Traverse, Benzie, uh, Chippewa mm -hmm. County. Those are local counties see, that have road mills. I see nothing ever done here. We have no money. There's no money, sir. We, okay, so we why are, why do we send why do we send the county road commission out to just keep coal patching, coal patching, and putting humps of stuff all over the place? Because that's all the money we. We have might as well do. not do that though, because that's that's just a waste. Well, we could turn it back to dirt. Well, I would I'd be I'd be all for that, to where we it is now. We don't want to do that. This road will get will get money next year, I guarantee you. It should be posted somewhere. I mean, well. Um, that that's federal aid money, and this is this is money from the local road millage. Okay, but and if we get money from our legislators, then we'll do more road projects. But we had wanted to identify <coughs> where this millage would go to for the next four years. Okay, so I'm asking our board here, please take a survey, and, and John lives out here as well. Start from Stewart, Stewart, and and drive. We and drive it every day. We talk. We talk to this to the county. I'd say regularly. I mean, about Dever Lake Road. It's our number one. It's been on our number one list for the last two years since I've been here, and I think it was on. Any small Lake Morgan, Road as well. Any small Lake Road. East Small Lake Road. I think is really. They've done some of it. A lot of that's in Kohler Township, except for that, the curve we have. I think right out here. Um, and they're doing. They're going to do a lot of work in Kohler Township on those curves. Um, before it gets to our township, so I, I feel very comfortable about that. Roads. But I, but I, Deborah Lake Road. When he called me what a couple of weeks ago, telling me that Deborah Lake Road was being moved up, and I think John was at a meeting where he talked. They talked about it too. So we're, I think, we're very excited about that. And okay. you know, the township has been very supportive. We we gave the township because they were even willing to help put some money into it um, back in 2011. Bill Mort. Morgan asked, you know, for an estimate. We gave him an estimate, and Aloha uh, knew, the, knew the estimate. We never really heard back, but they were putting money into some of your local roads at the time and, and wanted to know what it would cost. Um, again, we, we moved it up from 17 to, to next year from the TIF. That these are federal aid monies. Mm -hmm. Now we have to spend that federal aid money every year before we could book it for two or three years and then use it. That's Man Road's not listed on this list either. But Man Road from Zoner Road will come up to probably Pallister Road. From Pallister Road to 33 is still another section of road that needs to be done. Now again we were hoping for some state legislators to come up with some additional funding so we could finish that project. But who knows when that's going to happen? They keep promising and promising, but we haven't seen it. We're operating with 36 guys when we used to have 
as many as 60 guys on on our on our uh, road commission. We do 1,400 miles a road. I mean, our main focus with that money is plowing snow. We had 150 inches of snow this year. A lot of overtime was spent. I mean, uh, that's where our money went to fuel, uh, overtime, salt. We just try to keep the roads clean for, for people so what, to use. So, so how do you how do you pick these roads? How, how did the <laughs> we have a PASER rating system that um, we have a tech and along with NEMCOG and we have a computer program and all these roads are rated less than four four or less. And the idea is to bring our system up to about 80 percent at some point in time, and that's our goal. If we were to book every project that needed to be done, we'd have $35 million worth of work to be done in this county. $35 million. The problem is if we don't get this millage, in four years, where are we going to be? It's going to be worse yet. Had we have passed it three years ago when it was on the ballot, we probably wouldn't be sitting here. I think Deborah Lake Road would have been done. I think you, I think you better get to a bunch of these meetings. Of because when people see the taxes, they I understand they that nobody out, wants to pay more taxes, but, they, but, yeah, but people have to be educated on it. I sure. know, and that's why I'm here tonight. I mean, I know everybody in this room has put money in their vehicles in the last couple of years in front end alignments, tires, and brakes. I know my wife's. So I put $500 in her vehicle in the last six months in, in repairs, and it's uh, it's either we put them in our vehicles or we pass the millage and hopefully get some of these roads fixed. Yes. Can I just have a couple questions? One was on uh, on this federal aid fund, which I believe the commission has had problems coming up with a matching fund for Man Road for several years there, and then was going to give that money to the Downtown De Development Association and Indian River to do the streetscape. Man Road still hasn't been done. Now are we going to run into the same situation with Deborah Lake Road that you can get the federal funds, but the commission can't come up with matching funds? With well, with the we can ha we can come up with the matching funds with uh, for 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 the Darrell Lake Road because Man I mean, Road's been sitting on the on the schedule there for yeah, several you, years. You build up you build up a TIF fund. You actually have two different funds, and we built it up enough that it actually won't come out of our budget. But we've built up the fund, and it's dedicated to Deborah Lake. Right. Okay. The other question I have is, is like this gentleman here. How you prioritize these, I don't know. I drive South Street Highway between Prospect, which is the north end of Indian River and Eagles Nest, several times a day, and I don't see that as being like a, <laughs> a terrible road. Right. There's a little bit, there's actually a little bit of pavement breakup underneath the freeway with there, but that's north of Eagles Nest Road. Well, you get down by the golf course, and it's a rough piece of road. I mean, it's oh, very not, that not bad. really. There's, there was some dips there when the culverts were frost heaving and stuff, but. I mean, it's it's one of the better it's a it's a county roads one of the better county roads in the county. Again, we have we we <coughs> went about this to spread it out the best way we could where it, it kind of touches everybody in the county. Well, I'm I'm, I'm you know I'm in Tus I'm I'm in like one foot in, in Mullet and one foot in Tuscarora Township. Right. But uh, I, that's a waste of of required funds on that stretch of highway as far as I'm concerned. Like I say, I drive that every day. I, I'm not dodging potholes and patches like I am on. On, on any of these roads around here, it's a, I don't know how it ended up at the top of the this schedule there. Well, they, this is, this is particularly the schedule that's going to happen when we get ready to. to I mean, we're going to probably prioritize it based it, on. It shows it shows at the top for next I year. Know, I know. <laughs> that, that's not necessarily going to happen in that in that order. You know. Huh? Is there any other comments? Yes. Yeah. My name's Craig Carrier. I was about to have that way, bro. And uh, number one, your your coal patch. Have you looked at your coal patch lately? It's it's the nastiest coal patch I've ever seen in my life. It's not fresh. It doesn't have a lot of tar in it. It doesn't stick. It pulls right back out. Have you guys freshened your? Coal, coal patch up. They're they bringing in loads every week. 
Okay. The, the last load I saw was really bad. That's the one. And the guys start down here on East Mall Lake Road, and they come this way. They run out just about around Sawmill, or sometimes just beyond that. And then they leave. Then the following week, they come back, and they start back down here, and they go back past around. What about the other side of the road? Do you know there's a, uh, at least a six-inch pothole, six inches deep? Mm -hmm. I came that way, and I know it's Yeah, you know right where it's at. You have to. If you hit it, you're cringing. Uh, my best friend's uh, wife is in the hospital right now for on her motorcycle. She hit a truck roll, a deep truck roll, and flipped her bike, and she's in surgery. So you you want this 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 area right here has motorcycles, and I'm a motorcyclist. Motorcycles, motorcycles, every day, every weekend. We're going to have a death out there, yep. and because that, that's where I was headed today. But I'll be going there tomorrow. Down down to the road commission because they're going to fix that tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow they that. will fix that. If I have to get my own coal patch out of their own thing and go fix it myself. I think they've been out putting coal patch on it. In our they, have. they have. They haven't? Stop. I just told you. Yeah, he's not now lying. pay attention here <laughs> and I mean it. They start down there and they run out just past Brown Sawmill right. on the right hand side of the road. They never make it back to the other side because they go to lunch and they leave for, for another week. We don't see them. I know they've been out here this they've week. Been, they've been out here on the wrong side of the road. they got to get on this side of the road. When the guy goes by there and he sees a great big huge hole on that side, he's, the shovel can put some coal patch in that other side, for God's sakes. And where's your plate compactor? Compact that down so it doesn't pull out, so we don't waste our money we on just, that shit. We just bought so this village you're talking about, you said more equipment. Will you will you buy a roller? We just bought a roller. Then let's get it used. We put some hot patch use. down there in those big holes down there, and it won't cost you that much money. Blade it in and roll it. That's why we bought it, sir. This is getting ridiculous. This road. If you guys want to wait till next year? That's fine. But you're gonna. Find some other people are gonna get just as hot as me. We have a lot of bad roads in the county. Not as bad as these. We're not talking about the other county. We're in Mount Townsend right understand. now, sir. <laughs> so we're, this is where we're at. This is my township. So we get to vote our, or we get to speak our mind to you. That's and, and sorry to be you right now. I'm done. Thank you. Is there any other comments for Ken? I will say the township has been to a lot of, of meetings and talked with as much, you know, passion as what you're talking about about our roads. I mean, I from the day I took office, I thought East Mall Lake Road and Devil Lake Road were the two ones, and that's all I we've talked about. This, we've, had I, we've had this conversation. It's on every single year. What our priorities are, it's on every single page of it. So we feel very passionate about it. I have some a lot of sympathy for the Road Commission because the state, you know, the the, the legislature, the the um, House of Representatives just passed a 48 cent, wasn't it? Uh, wasn't that there? That was the Senate. Was uh, trying to pass. Well, no, but I think the House passed it and then it went to the Senate and well, then the, died in the Senate, right? The House's version was to come up with 450 million dollars. <laughs> right. Okay. But it was going for to be appropriations for road commission. Right. That would have brought about a million dollars to the Sheboygan County. Right. I mean, if you divide it by 83 counties by formula, and that's the way we are funded by formula. Um, and I, I think that's what my frustration is: is that the state has been so slow, and our representatives so slow to act on the on this issue. I mean, it's been two years yeah. that we've been waiting for the state to take I've been action. Waiting. I've been a commissioner for five years, and we've been promised it for five years. And the last two representatives, oh, yeah, we're going to do road funding. It's at the top of our list, and we haven't seen it. So mm -hmm. why is it Mullet Township on here? We don't even have a road. You want us to vote for it? <laughs> we don't even have a road in it. I'd say but, take but out Straits Highway and put there. Mullet there. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't have a road here, so you're asking for... You don't you travel know, none of those roads. 
I live right here. I, you I, don't go this way. Yes, I do, sir. All right. But there is nothing in my township that I pay taxes on that that you're fixing for me. Tuscarora, Monroe, Kohler, all that. Nothing. <coughs> There's nothing here. It, it needs to be. You need to. You need to prioritize in these curves. And you probably lived here all your life. Yeah. Well, drive them. I do. And, and, not as much as I do. No, I come I here every that. single day. I understand that. And there is nothing. There's no shoulders at all. And there's no, no, you're not fixing anything for our township. Nothing here. Nothing here for us. So you say you mm -hmm. want to spread the wealth. There's nothing here spreading for us. But here, Tusk, I mean, it says right there. But understanding where we're coming from in next year. No, I don't understand it at all. Well, because this is the worst road. These two roads, and it's not on here. And you're saying Deborah Lake, fine, next year, maybe. And Deborah Lake funding, maybe funding, funding yep. will come before. But this you might month. save it like you did with Man Road. So we can't really count on that because that's been put off. We have to spend it every year now. There's That's state law. Okay, so why isn't Man Road being done then? It is being done. It will be done. It will be. With it, with but, okay, so and that's why it's not on that list. Okay, that, that's a different part of it. Why why isn't mullet on here though? Why isn't it, why isn't a road on here? Excuse me, Ken. Actually, the question I have, and I think the mullet board could probably answer this. It seems that you all passed a resolution supporting a, a county-wide road millage if, if the millage that was collected was spent within the township. We did. We said we felt that it had. And now they're the asking for a millage to spend it wherever they want, rather than within well, the township. I, I will speak to the East Mount Lake. I, I think the biggest issue in, on East Mount Lake Road, at the point of um, Stewart Road, are the curves. They're they're horrible. That's where somebody's going to get hurt, and that's what they're fixing here. Are they the right Stewart here? Road? Not right down here, man. The, right down here. Right. That's what I'm saying. Right no. down here, the curves that are going that that yeah, he started at Stewart Road. Road. Stewart Road's down. Not very far down. Stewart Road's clear down by Bower Sox. Yeah. 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 But well, we're a long ways from Bower Sox. I know. Mm -hmm. But I, the issue. There's one curve on Bower Sox that's really bad. There's about three curves there. There, you know, when you come. Stewart the, Road doesn't even go to the curve. No, I'm saying Stewart Road, the Onaway Road, where they are proposing to fix that. I know curve. exactly where you're talking about, yeah. but there's only there's only two curves, right. one curve right. actually on Bower Sox. I'm talking about right here, the big curve, and all the way out to the tube. Yeah, I I know where you're talking. They, they've made one one uh, correction there because of uh, right there uh, by my. Uh, sister's place right there. Mm -hmm. But these roads right here need to be fixed. Yeah, I we agree. That. So I, but we you don't have that. that down here. These None in Mullet is down here. There's not one road in Mullet Township that's down here. But you travel all those roads. It doesn't matter to me. Yes, it does. I want, I want some of the money to be spent in our own township. Well, there's a lot of townships that don't have money spent in them, sir. Mullet's one of the biggest townships you have. Mullet is one of the Okay, biggest. then why won't we get at least one little stretch fixed? We're talking three miles from the tube to here. Yeah. Three it's miles. It's three miles from that road to this corner, too. What road? Clocked road? What road? 33 to Deborah Lake Road. Deborah Lake Road. A mile and a half of but that. You already got, okay, you already got that. A mile and a half of that is a low one. Yeah. What Buddy's talking about is Mullet Township. Mullet Township. I understand that. I understand that. Okay. How, how are we going to, you know, we're going to split? I, I, no, I will. I, I'll i go against all this. Then. I'll, I'll, well, I'll, I'll, in, I'll, in three years, we'll be back. In the that's fine. Home. Let's see how long I have gravel roads on. That's what we want to. Good. Why, why, why did the idea of spending it in each township as it's taxed, how did that die with the, with the county? What money collected? Yes, spending the money where the people that pay the tax get the benefit well, from the tax. Well, then you might as well have a township wide millage. Yeah, that, that's really the answer. You might as well just that's what Dennis has millage. talked about. You know, that we would have a township wide millage. millage. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of townships do that. They'll have a township wide millage, and then they'll 
And I, can, I can see doing it across the board for the whole county as long as each amount that's collected in the township remains in the township. That way, we're not being taxed to pay for Loa's negligence of their road and Kohler's negligence of their road. We're upgrading our roads as needed, and then they have the funds through the tax to pay for theirs. But then the roads that are traveled the heaviest, like your Riggsville Road and your Levering Road, we're a county road commission overseeing all the county roads. I understand that. Ken. <laughs> you don't think this is traveled heavily? Set out here one day I know it's and watch these cars go by. You can sit on South River Road or Beach Road. Oh, man, South River Road, roads tons, of, tons of cars there. There's, I mean, you go down there in the morning and sit on the corner of Orchard Beach Road, they're lined up getting on the 33. Yeah. You know. They don't have 1,500 pop walls either. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think. Sorry, I think no. I, I think you've got a good message, and you know you can take the message back, and um, and maybe it would be helpful to, you know, kind of maybe relook at this. So well, that, I know if if our if our legislators do come up, and I'm sure they're going to have to, or they're not going to get voted back in. Yeah. And I'm sure we could identify some of them, them other projects. And it might be it might be good not just the millage, but to show kind of a holistic plan, which is his point. I mean, if, yeah. if Deborah Lake is going to get paid for next year and it's going to be paid for on federal funds, then that will satisfy a lot of people. I mean, that, you know, that's our money coming back to us from a federal standpoint. Yeah. So I think I think the presentation might help if we if we had more information that would relate to us as a township. And, and we've been collecting information, you know, feedback. Yeah for several years to try to come up with the best wording in the proposal that best suits everybody. Um, and that's why we said we're just going to repair and resurface in this millage. It's for four years. And let us let us show you what we can do, I guess, is yeah. what we're asking. So can I ask you? Thank and you. Then I'll, I'll, I guess I'll mm -hmm. shut up. But are you happy that there, there's not one down in Mullet Township? Well, I feel I mean, very good about Deborah Lake Road being done next year. So I mean, yeah, but that's that's uh, that's, that's federal, federal funds that yeah. are being spent. But what about your matching funds to go with the county? Well, and we're not going to have any roads done. Yeah, I can't speak for the board. I can only speak for myself. Well, but my personal feeling is about it is that I I I know they do a good job and they're working hard, and I I support the road commission to what so they're why? doing. I don't really care if if a something per se isn't on here for Mullet Township as long as we get our roads fixed. So we may not get them fixed in this process, but I know I can get them fixed through safety grants. I know I can get um, the sides of the roads fixed. Um, so I feel very comfortable with this. And I'm going to support the county. My personal feeling is, is to support the county. Okay. So I, I do support Mullet Township, and I feel great about East Mullet Lake Road. I think it's a huge problem, and I think somebody's going to be killed on it, just like they're going to be killed on Deborah Lake. And, but I'm delighted about Deborah Lake Road. So I'm going to feel great about that, and I'm going to feel I think these other roads need it. And I'm not going to judge whether they do or not. I'm not a road person. I don't know roads. I just know when I see potholes and when I think they need to be fixed. Oh. So that's my personal feeling. You know. And I don't know if the other board members feel want to say something about how they feel about the board about the roads. But anybody else want to say anything? Yeah, I'll tackle it a little bit. I attended the last town road commission meeting. It was a nightly meeting. And uh, there's a lot of pressure on the road commission to do Deborah Lake Road before and ahead of Man Road even. Uh, Bill Morgan took an effort to get that, I think Ken said in 2011, the money. Yeah and it required matching funds from both townships. Mullet Township didn't want to put their money in to fix Aloha's half, and Aloha didn't want to put any money into primary road. And I got that from their board members. So it looked like if Dever Lake Road was to be done at the time Bill was looking at it back in 2011, Mullet Township was the only one willing to contribute. That nightly meeting that I went to just a week or two ago, right. It looked like Aloha Township has changed their tune, and they are willing to contribute too. So if this federal funding comes through and, and all, everything lines up, it, we're hoping that Aloha will now contribute towards their half of Double Lake Road 
and Mullet Township will contribute towards its half of Deborah Lake Road. And we will be able to do the whole road in the with the federal funding is what we're hoping. But we don't know what our required match is yet. And our budget is in April. And I don't know when those federal funds get released or the amounts are known, Ken, but engineering and all of that we has to take place. In February, I think. For everything to line up, Aloha's going to want that number before their budget meeting, and so will Mullet. I mean, there's a lot of things See, that have the, to fall in place. The other thing is, when you put these out for state bid, you put them out for state bid, you don't know exactly how much road you're going to get built for that. You know, you don't know what oil prices are or national prices are. We got an idea for this year, and we know it's probably not going to do all a man road. Um, but you don't know that until you bid it out. And that gets bid out the um, first part of August, I believe. See, for our budget year, we need to have that information ahead of that. I mean, for all this stuff to be done and have that done for next year and lined up, it almost has to start your engineering this fall. You have to have the numbers in place. Mm -hmm. Or we don't know what our required match is if we, or if we're required to match. Well, that's something we can go back and talk to and see if we can't get it engineered ahead of time mm -hmm. so we know how far you we can You can at least go. give us a, you know, ballpark. Because ballpark. I'd hate that's to tell all the residents, well, it's on the plan for next year, and then all of a sudden we don't know the number till August, and we didn't budget for it, and, uh, and we have to amend our budget, which is possible. But, I mean, I, it'd, be it'd be a lot better to start now. Okay. Yeah, if, I, if I could make a suggestion, too, yes. it, it might be helpful if you were to take a, a map of the county roads, I guess maybe the primary and secondary roads, and color code the map to show which roads would be improved as a result of the millage, and then maybe which roads would be improved as a result of the federal monies that might be available over the next three or four or five years. And that way people have a real good visual to understand mm -hmm. what the money is actually going to buy. You know, better understand whether they travel the roads in the county or not, even though it might not be in their township. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, that perhaps could be helpful in trying to convey the message. Right. And I asked that when the, you were at the city meeting, too, I was at. And whatever's collected in the city stays in the city. Same thing with Wolverine and the same thing with the Mackinac City. Whatever they collect. And it's about 100000 for the city of Sheboygan, which they don't even have a road fund whatsoever. So they're quite... Uh, interested in in getting that money uh, or supporting it. Likewise, Wolverine wouldn't even get maybe six, eight thousand based on our taxable value. Mackinac City about twenty five thousand. So yeah. it varies. Some townships, you know, if we were to break it up by township, some of the smaller townships might not even see five thousand dollars if you went by taxable value and and what it would amount to. So that's. That's another thing, you know. Some of the smaller townships are saying, "Well, we're not, we can't support it because we don't, we won't see any benefit from it." But yet they're going to travel some of these roads. So. You mean like Monroe with Ridgeville Road? Well, <laughs> Monroe does support the road now. Mm -hmm. I mean, because part of Ridgeville Road. But yeah. the part we're talking about is from from VFW Road, basically starting out. And we're basically basing it on where the most traffic flow starts. Thanks right, a lot, I'm gonna Ken. let you go. Thank I you very much. Appreciate your time, yep. the board. Thanks appreciate for coming. your support, and I, I know you have a couple projects <clears throat> within your township that you're looking at funding and doing, and joint effort with Burt Township, and those are all positive things. I think. Well, Thank the you. Woodruff, Before the you Woodruff go. is our next little project. Woodruff um, ramp. Which I think we're doing in August. Yes. Before you go, Ken, just take this as constructive criticism, but don't threaten to turn paved roads into gravel. Well, <laughs> that that I mean, to me, I receive that in in uh, in a very negative uh, emotion. And no, you don't want to see Devil Lake Road by turned into a gravel road. The, the with all of the curves on those on that road. Every time a vehicle slides the corner, it's going to be more washboards. And they can't keep up with, with proper gravel maintenance now. They gravel, they'll blade a road, they put brine on it, they don't want to touch it for the rest of the summer. And those, by the time, I've lived for many years on gravel roads. So that, 
and you talk about the suspension repairs that you've got to make into your vehicle, the potholes, I agree, are very dangerous on this road. Mm -hmm. Coming out here this afternoon or this evening, I was on the wrong side of the road as much as I was on the right side of the road for the exact reasons you're saying. Mm -hmm. But overall, considering the dust that you've got to drive through, mm -hmm. when you're trying to drive on, uh, on a curvy road. I was just commenting what he said. Okay. I, I know. I, I, don't, I don't want, I, I really, you've said it before, Ken, and mm -hmm. I don't like, <laughs> like that comment. I mean, I think that's, you know, to, for me, I'll get my hackles up and, you know, well, I'll say screw your millage, you know, we'll I mean. Go, we'll throw we'll patch at it as long as we can. I mean, you've heard of an Eagle's Nest Road. It's the same thing. You know, we've been right. three or four years trying to come up with a, a fund to do Eagle's Nest Road. Right. And they're just, I mean, that's in Tuscarora Township. That's a whole other issue, but uh, I'm not going to go into that tonight. Okay. Thanks Thank a you. lot. Okay, um, next thing on the agenda is uh, opening bids for the Boy Scout Restroom Project. Did we get any bids? We have two. Okay. This is from C&J Excavating and Truck Company. Uh, Greg Carrier is the owner. Just let me get that down. The bid uh, is for $33,246. Okay. This one is in from Environmental Excavating and Contracting out of Alpena. <clears throat> 